at BBC Radio Nottingham. And now, this coming Friday at the Concert Hall in Nottingham, Marty Pello is performing his solo tour. That's Friday the 22nd of March. Uh, Marty was last in Nottingham, of course, at the arena with the cast of Jeff Wayne's The Roar of the Worlds. That was back in December. This time, though... He'll be playing you songs from his current album, Hope. It's his eighth studio album. It's a really lovely collection of songs that he says has inspired him and also a selection of songs from musical theatre where he's busy performing uh, over the past few years. So for this concert, it's definitely an evening of West End and Broadway and some of Marty's favourites too. The chance came there for, for me to come back to Nottingham and I thought, I have, I have had a good time there, let's go back there. We're going to do some songs from my wet, wet, wet days, some songs from my solo career, I'm just songs that kind of float my boat, you know, I think it was... The album was kind of dictated what the soundscape will be, so it's kind of very acoustic. I think that's the way they were, you know, well, I know, I mean, these songs are so beautifully written and it's got a great structure to them and, and most importantly, wonderful lyrics. So I think the voice becomes paramount and I think when you, sometimes if you overarrange a song by, you know, introducing another, you know, like an orchestration to it and sometimes, you know, sometimes that can be a good thing and another thing. A bad thing, and I think uh, what I wanted to achieve with this record was uh, uh, intimacy, and I would re- achieve that by stripping back the layers of these songs and seeing what what really makes them tick. Then, then you see them in their purest form, and I think that's when they most ping, especially if they've got the powerful lyrics. I mean, this is definitely a record I couldn't have made in my early twenties or thirties. You know, I think it's a, 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 it's an album of songs that. I think without getting too deep on it, that, that, that you grow into and you can be able to colour and you can draw from experiences and be able to use that. You go, go to your bag of tools and say, well, I know how to set this up, this song up, and I know what to do now. And uh, as from a singer's point of view, you know, and explore different timbers of your voice that you can't really uh, explore in the pop world because it's it's a different genre and it's a different type of singing. I've been blessed enough to have a voice that can pretty much skate in a lot of different arenas, but it doesn't mean that I should be there. And I think that that for me it was, you know, it, it was all about making this record sound like a Marty Pello interpretation of these songs. And that's where the challenge lies because it's not about emulating what's been before, it's about finding your, your, your own way within within them.